Basement Geeks, welcome back to Tracy's Basement. I'm Tracy, this is Jason, and today we are unboxing a little bit of our childhoods. It's Nickelodeon! <laughs> That's what I say. It's Nick or nothing. <laughs> we have a full case of the Nickelodeon loyal subjects. These were sent our way by Entertainment Earth, so thank you very much to Entertainment Earth. You guys know, of course, awesome online retailer, full of geeky stuff that like loaded. everything you can possibly imagine. Totally loaded! All I can say is check out the link in the description box below. Go check them out. They have tons of deals on all the time. Awesome stuff. They sent us these and we can't wait to break into them. Because like I said, this is our childhood, you now, guys. This is 90s Nick, which I would dare say was probably peak Nickelodeon. Probably, uh, yeah. You know, Nickelodeon still got some great stuff today. Uh, they own the Ninja Turtles license and stuff like that. The 2012 Ninja Turtles was fantastic. Uh, I never really tried Rise, so I can't really say anything we won't about speak it. Of it. But uh, <laughs> yeah, that seems to be hit and miss with a lot of people. But Nick is awesome, and I think '90s Nick was when they were at their peak. So this set has SpongeBob, Stimpy, Arnold, and Tommy, Donnie, Ren, Eliza, and Gerald. And then we're getting into rarer ones here: Chucky, Rocco, Cat Dog, a different Gerald, a different Cat Dog. Arnold. A in a banana Arnold. shirt. Those are the really <laughs> rare ones. And then we're getting into the ultra mega super rare ones. A different Donnie, a different Arnold, and a one of a kind Stimpy Gold Edition. Yeah. The Donnie and the Arnold are Club 28s, which are also extremely rare. It means there's only 28 of them made. So if you get one of those last three, you're in the money. Because <laughs> so, those are rare. So rare. Okay, so we're going to start left to right. Around the front. Left to left front. Left to front. One of the left to front. Back to right. And uh, there we go. <laughs> Dig in. Let's check these out. So I've got... Stimpy! Oh, these are cool uh, cases. Uh, I didn't... When did Loyal Subjects start doing this? I don't it know. been like that for a while, but it's basically like a tinted window. So you can't see in instead of uh, a bag. You gotta open. So that's cool. So I don't have to rip open any bags. There he is. You're it is Stimpy. You really can't see in there either. Right? <laughs> Holy gee, they're really well tinted. Oh my god, Stimpy's so funny. He's like perfectly all bulgy and fat and tongue hanging out and everything. Like, that's perfect. I love it. He's big too. <laughs> He's huge. I lost his foot. Yeah. There it is. He's big. He is. He is very big. Like we even for loyal subjects, which are moderately well, sizable for blind box figures. Well, he's, we, he's really big. We have loyal subjects, and he looks bigger than the loyal subjects we have on the shelf. So, I mean, gee, there's the turtles ones right there. Yeah, well, so, yeah. He's like twice the size. I don't is. know if you guys can see that because the box he's is quite, <laughs> He's quite a bit bigger. Oh, yeah, look at that. Oops. <laughs> so, <laughs> but that's awesome. I love it. And his arms and legs move and everything. So, there you go. Very, very cool. He okay. comes with a card. <laughs> okay, so I've got... I've got... Gerald. Or is it Gerald? I... I, I think do, it's Gerald. I don't really know. I'm going with Gerald, but I just wanted to say that. That's the one show on here I can honestly say. Well, there's two shows on here that I never really got into. Hey, Arnold. Big, big, big Nickelodeon show. I just, I for some reason, it never, I never got into it. It never clicked with me. It but wasn't it, my biggest show. But, but it is a huge show. And uh, he's pretty big, too, but 90% of it's hair. Yeah. <laughs> Look at the size of the hair on this guy. So he's got... <laughs> 33 on him, and he comes with a boombox. Boom box. Now, that's yeah. 90s. That's 90s there. He comes with a boombox. <laughs> I love so it. Click his boombox <laughs> in there. And there we have Gerald. Oh, my God. I love his hair. Very cool. Very and cool. And to go with Gerald, I have Arnold. Banana shirt Arnold. Banana shirt That's one Arnold. in 96. Oh, it is, too. I got one of the rare ones. Nice. Awesome. That's a very rare. So there's football head. With his banana shirt, which is awesome, all by itself. And he also comes with a pig. And I don't remember the reference. <laughs> it's been a like, long time well, like I said, since I, I saw anything Arnold. <laughs> I wasn't a, a Hey Arnold uh, watcher, so I don't really know anything about that one. But. but yeah, he comes with a little piggy. That's super awesome. You got the <laughs> banana shirt. I'm very surprised. That's, that's a pretty rare one. I like it. Very cool. His hair is awesome. His hair is awesome. And he's got a football head. Okay, moving on to number four, and I've got the other show that I don't really know. All I know about this show is like those Nigel memes <laughs> with the guy with the big nose. Uh, I did actually yeah. watch the Wild Thornberries. I, I didn't really watch the Wild Thornberries. I was big Rugrats and Rocco's Modern Life 
and uh, I was sorry that. But if you've watched the Wild Thornberries, I'll let you talk about her then. As she, just to She's let you know, funny. she comes with a possum, a or possum. an anteater. Or oh something. yes, and what? Yeah, that's an anteater. <laughs> so if you guys saw the Wild Thornberries, if you didn't, they they were like a traveling group of. Uh, they were a family that went and traveled through the jungles and stuff like that. So that's a pretty cool figure. From that show. She was like a real geeky looking kid. No way. You don't say, eh? <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> but she was always like the adventurous one in the family. And yeah. the, the show kind of resolved around her. So that's she, pretty cool. I, I don't remember the end. Either. She looks like the stereotypical like <laughs> 90s geek character. Yes, she does. <laughs> All right. So it's actually your turn. And these ones aren't tinted. What the heck? The rest aren't tinted. I'm confused. I'm very confused. Very so these confused. ones aren't blind. Uh, only the top four were blind. You guys are going to have to let us know. Is that were... normal? Or does it have something to do with the fact that, you know, Entertainment Earth sent them? Maybe they're special in some way? I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> but apparently... It confuses me. These aren't blind. Uh, but it is your turn, so I'll let you talk about this character. I got Tommy! Oh, they're both the same. Oh, okay. So, you dive right in. So, you can put that one aside, and I will yep. show off Tommy, which is one of the shows that you were bigger into. Yep. I don't think we gotta worry, now that we can see what everything is, I don't think we gotta worry about the taking turns and picking sides or anything like that anymore, so... Fair uh, point. There. So. I'll just start taking things out. <laughs> Tommy, of course, from Rugrats, and just... Oh, Rugrats is such an awesome show. It was great. I still watch, like, all the... Uh, Christmas specials and all that kind of thing. They had a Hanukkah special. They did have a yeah. Hanukkah special. And the Halloween Inclusive. specials and stuff. I'm just getting these out of the way because these are doubles. Yes. Okay? So I'm getting all the doubles out of the way. Look at him in his little diaper. I love it. <laughs> does Tommy have any accessory? Yes, of course he does. He has his bottle. Oh, of course. Which yes. he always had in the show. The squirt at yep. the opening scene. Exactly. So there you go. He's got his little bottle. Love it. Who else do we have? Next one that we have is a cultural icon sensation. Oh, a lot yes. of people may, are very strangely fussy about this guy. I don't know why. You can love him or hate him. You can't deny he is a pop culture sensation and an icon worldwide. And it is SpongeBob SquarePants. There he is, and he looks fantastic. <laughs> he looks wicked. He is dead on. SpongeBob. They, they pick plucked him right out of the goddamn. Now, SpongeBob? I love I love SpongeBob. I love SpongeBob. I think SpongeBob is chaos. It's hilarious. Uh, I used to just love watching it with Adriana and uh, getting a kick out of it. It's we foolish. We watched SpongeBob way before Adriana. Yeah, well, we did. It's cool. <laughs> uh, but it's foolish, it's dumb, uh, and it's a lot of fun. And like I said, he's just so lovable. And, uh,. Squidward in the show always cracks me up. <laughs> but uh, it seems lately, instead of uh, laughing at Squidward, people on the internet are all aspiring to be Squidward. Don't be a Squidward. Laugh at Squidward and all his misfortunes. Be a SpongeBob. Be happy. <laughs> but he comes with his spatula oh. and hat, and his hat pegs in the top, peg holes a little tight there. And there you go. He's ready to go work at the Krusty Krab. That's wicked. Look at that. That's I great. love that one. Adrian is going to lose her mind over this. That <laughs> is, is super cool. So, <laughs> I love it. I love SpongeBob and I love that. So, that is a perfect representation yeah. of SpongeBob. I think SpongeBob's great. So, the next one. I will grab Donnie, since I already mentioned that I did watch Wild Thornberries and you did not. I did not. Like I said, I only know about the that Nigel guy meme. These these do not want to stand up on our table, but they'll stand up fine once we get them on the shelf. So. And I believe yep, this is the the base Donnie. He comes with a snake that he wraps around his neck. Ha ha ha. Well, you can't ex <laughs> you can't expect to get like two super rares. No. So. <laughs> Honestly, I like the snake. Oh, the other Donnie is actually a Club Twenty Eight, so you really shouldn't expect. That. Oh yes, yeah, good point. <laughs> so. I wasn't paying attention to that. But yeah, he has the snake, so he was like the the wild character. He was like raised by animals or something, and the family took him in. Really? So. Oh, I would never guess he yeah. was wild <laughs> by the looks of that. I would never guess he was a wild thornberry. Hey now. Hey now. I don't know if you can bend the snake or what, but it like won't flatten out on you. It's just a weird straight snake. Yeah, it's a weird so. kind of an accessory. He's but... got a stiff snake. That's terrible. I know, this is like children's things. It's only terrible because you have an awful mind. 
So, it's fair fun. All I said was Stiff Snake. You went there. You went there. Donnie's awesome. I love him. I love how he's like sticking out his tongue and his hair's all over the place. Yeah. <laughs> These are greatly detailed and look exactly like the characters. They do. They they really yeah. all look like they were plucked right in the Loyal characters. subjects usually have a certain style to them that matches, you know, based on their loyal subjects' action vinyl style. Yeah. But these look uh, entirely like the characters from the cartoons. They look ex like exact representations of the characters from the cartoons. No stylization or nothing. They do. Uh, and it's really cool. It's really they, cool. They... Not that I, I, like, I don't, I like the loyal subject oh, stylization. Yeah. Stylization but is awesome. it's really, really cool that these are a little different. They, they look like right out of the cartoons. And they look great all lined up together too with like the, just that Nickelodeon style to them. They do. <laughs> it's very, very cool. All right. I'm on the last one in the box because I took out all the doubles. And the last one goes with Stimpy. I grew up on Ren and Stimpy. This is Ren, his partner, the Chihuahua of a million faces. He, do he, he is, does. That, he show, uh, that show was so raunchy and hilarious for kids for their time that it was just crazy. Oops. <laughs> Popped it right off. It wouldn't come out. <laughs> so this is Ren. And <laughs> Ren comes with log. Yeah. <laughs> he comes with log. I thought it was, I thought it was uh, his little fez at first, but he comes with log. Log, log, it's big, it's heavy, it's wood. It's log, it's log, it's better than bad, it's good. See, we're, we're losers. <laughs> so, but Ren Child actually, wood. yeah, Ren actually comes with log. Now, I don't think log really uh, sits anywhere or is held or anything. No, it's, it's, it's just, there. it's just like the joke in the cartoon. It just sits there. <laughs> There's just log. But Ren, look at that face. Wow, look at that face. That is crazy. He is <laughs> just wide-eyed grinned and the ears and everything. Eyes just bulging out. It's got that very, very distinct uh, style that the show and the animators were known for. He's so. psychotic. <laughs> he does. He looks absolutely <laughs> insane. And he goes with Stimpy. Uh, scales well because Ren was always a little bit smaller and skinnier. Yeah. And Stimpy was always a big, fat, dumb cat. So, very, very, it's it's funny, because usually when you watch cartoons, the dog is the dumb one, and the cat's the smart one. Yeah, They usually true, always actually. play that angle, but in Ren and Stimpy, the, you know, real sarcastic, snide, uh, more intelligent one was the dog, and the cat was the real idiot. So... I thought they'd mix it up a bit. Yeah, that's kind of neat <laughs> when you think about it. I never really thought of that, but that's very cool. So, there we go. We've got Ren and Stimpy. I'm very trying... Cool desperately to get them all stand up so it's they're not going to on this table but yeah. uh, it's okay we've already had overlays and pictures and everything yeah. so. so you guys will have seen them all by now and now that we have them all open we have the double set aside which one is your favorite out of the set i really like how accurate spongebob is um but i think i'm gonna have to go with tommy pickles I gotta go with Tommy Pickles. I, I really like the Tommy Pickles. He's he is, just so, he is well done. He's just so goofy uh, looking. And because I was just a huge, huge Rugrats fan, uh, I watched that show religiously in my youth. Like, I never missed Rugrats on YTV. Klasky Kasupo. I remember the endings and everything. Klasky Kasupo. <laughs> so I remember it all. So I'm going to go with Tommy Pickles. I'm probably going to throw you for a loop and say Stimpy. Well, he is giant. He, he's enormous. <laughs> you're definitely getting a lot of, the rest of you're definitely getting a lot of value and plastic out of that guy. <laughs> so. I I do also really like the way that SpongeBob was done, but I just I find Stimpy hysterical, and he's huge and he's fat and the big tongue hanging out and the big giant blue nose. Like, I love that. Yeah. That's hysterical. I'm giving SpongeBob a solid second for me. Yeah, he he's, could he's gonna be my second. He could pick. easily be first. He could easily be first. He's that accurate and and stuff. So. But uh, I'm going to go with Tom. So. But they're all amazing. They come with some awesome little accessories that I'm going to have to look up because I can't remember half of this stuff. But they are awesome, you guys. Definitely check out the link in the description box below if you are interested in checking these out for yourself. Thank you again to Entertainment Earth for sending them our way so that we can show them off to everybody. Let us know in the comment section below which one you like the best, which one you wish you had, etc, etc. I'm ready. I'm ready. I'm ready. He's always ready. Leave us a comment. Don't be a Squidward. Don't be a Squidward. Yeah, see, that's going to be the motto for this video. Don't be a Squidward. All right? Laugh at Squidward. 
don't be don't aspire to be a squidward <laughs> aspire to be a spongebob and if you've enjoyed the video guys give us a big thumbs up share with your friends subscribe to the channel if you haven't already you can also follow us on instagram twitter facebook and snapchat at tracy's basement jason from tv on twitter and of course as always guys uh... <laughs> keep coming back for more tracy's basement bye how's the rest of it go something that rolls downstairs rolls over your neighbor's dog it's Fits on your back. It's great for a snack. It's log, log, log. <laughs> <laughs>